Hi there, welcome. Today we're gonna do a 15 minute segment working into hip mobility and we're not even gonna leave the ground. So there's gonna be no standing whatsoever. Everything is gonna be sitting or lying down. So feel free to maybe grab a couple of blocks or even a blanket or a bolster or anything you feel that might be nice um, to have for the next 15 minutes. Even if you don't end up using it, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna start off sitting just in a comfortable cross-legged position. So as you find just the Sukhasana easy seated pose, let's take a moment here and just let the hands find the knees, thighs, or lap. Allowing the shoulders to just relax down and back from the ears, maybe lifting up nice and tall through the crown of the head. And you can either gaze down the tip of the nose or close the eyes and just begin to work into the control of your breathing. So steadying your inhale in through the nose. And then feeling the steady gravity of your exhale out through the nose. Noticing a light little bit of buoyancy on your inhale, reaching that inhale through the crown of the head. And then feeling your exhales just drop right back down into the hips. We'll bring our hands together to heart center, opening this practice space with the sound OM. Let's take an inhale. And coming right back into that steady breath, the first thing we're gonna do is just move into a forward fold. So we'll release the hands down, walk the hands forward and out. Maybe we stay on the hands here, maybe we rest on the forearms. You're welcome to bring blocks down and bring your head or forearms to a block. And just find that nice fold in the hips, relaxing and softening into the thighs as best as you can. Allow your inhales to, again, find that length through the crown of the head while still, still keeping the hips grounded. Find your exhales just softening downwards through the hips here. We're gonna take one more inhale in this neutral space, and then we're gonna lift the heart for a moment. Let's walk the hands over to the right. As you walk the hands over to the right, we're feeling that left side body lengthen out, and that left hip might wanna lift up, but we're gonna try and keep that left hip grounded and just explore the breath all the way down through the left side body and down into that left hip joint for just one more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly walking yourself back through neutral. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're walking the hands all the way over to the left now, feeling that release all the way down the right side of the body. It might feel slightly different and we'll find out why in just a moment. Exploring that breath now through the right side. Notice how far it can drop down into the hips. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then gently rotating everything back to neutral, we're gonna work our way back up to our hands. So whatever leg you have in front or on top, we're gonna swap the legs from here. So sweep that front leg back and that back leg forward, which might feel kind of awkward at first, and that's okay. Once you sit up nice and tall, we're just gonna move right into that forward fold. So walking the hands forward, maybe staying on the hands, maybe resting on the forearms or the forehead or using your blocks here if you like. I'm just taking a few moments, noticing the slight differences or major differences in the way that this side feels. We're just gonna take two more deep breaths here. Ex again, exploring that length of the inhale and that little bit of centering sensation as you exhale. This time, we're gonna walk the hands over to the left first. So as you walk the hands over to the left, the heart leans up and over to that left knee. We breathe down into that right side. Again, might feel different than it did on the other side. Just that small repositioning of the legs can make quite the difference here. Last deep exhale. As you inhale, rotate everything through neutral. Let's take it all the way over to the right, keeping that left hip gently grounded, noticing those slight differences on either side. Noticing where we can carry that inhale into that left side body, how we can sink into those exhales. Go ahead, inhale, rotate the heart through neutral, and then carry the hands back in towards the hips. So from here, we'll extend the legs straight out in front of us. And as you extend the legs straight out in front of us, now turn to the side here. We'll find a forward fold for a moment. So let's take an inhale, we'll sweep the hands up, lifting through the heart. As you exhale, reach out for the feet or the toes or the ankles or use a strap here if you like. As you exhale, fold in over the legs. Just three deep breaths. Every inhale, feel the rib cage pull its way slightly further towards the feet. Every exhale, gentle engagement in the belly. So 
without using the arms too much. The arms are more of an accessory. We inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, sink deeper in. Just one more inhale here. Last deep exhale. As you inhale, we're slowly gonna rise up. Bring the hands back behind you. Let's bend the knees, plant the feet, and then inhale, lift the hips up, finding a reverse tabletop, letting the head hang back, rolling the shoulders forward. See if we can push the bases of your big toes down while keeping the rest of the feet firmly grounded as well. Connecting with how the breath is moving through the front of the body. We're gonna take just one more inhale here. As you exhale, hips drop down, legs extend right back out. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweeping the hands up. As you exhale, fold forward. Just two deep breaths in our forward fold. Steady inhale towards the toes. Strong exhale into the belly. One more inhale, reach the heart to the toes. Exhale, nice fold, firming up, firm folding in. Inhale, heart lifts, go ahead, same thing. We're releasing the hands back, fingers pointing into the glutes, feet are hip distance. Inhale, hips up, strong in the back, head hangs back if that feels okay. Nice deep inhale here, feel the strength of your belly even here as you exhale. Noticing also the strength of the back. Inhale again. As you exhale, hips drop down. Last round, we're gonna extend the legs out, sweep the arms up, exhale, fold forward. We're taking just one inhale, pull the heart to the toes. One deep exhale, fold it in. As you inhale, rise up. Last one, hands back, bend the knees, sweep it all the way up. And then exhale, release the hips down, straightening out the legs. And we're gonna end up lying down from here. So release the arms out, point the tailbone to the heels, nice and slowly begin to lie down all the way to the spine. And once you lie down, we're gonna hug just the right knee into the heart. Let's interlace the fingers around the base of the right knee. That right thigh is gonna drop a little bit to the outer edge of the rib cage as we pull that right thigh into that right shoulder. Hold it here for just a couple deep breaths. Maybe feel an inhale, press into the belly, so we're inhaling into the belly. Exhaling, feeling the belly button just drop down. One more belly breath here. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, belly button drops down. And then we're gonna take that left hand to the left hip. Bring the right hand on top of the right thigh. Let's make some circular movements, but we wanna keep that left hip grounded here as we sweep that right thigh around in circles. And then taking it the opposite direction, sweep the right thigh in the other way. Little bit of engagement in the belly just so we're holding on to that foundation, that firmness down through that left hip. And then bringing that right knee to point to the ceiling, left hand crosses over. Let's take the right knee up and over to the left, reaching your right hand away from your right shoulder, maybe looking over to that right hand. One more inhale across the collarbone, steady exhale into the belly. As you inhale, rotate back to neutral. Let's drop the sole of the right foot down so that right knee stays bent. We're moving into a supine tree pose. So that right knee is gonna drop out to the right so that the sole of the right foot opens to that left inner thigh. If you want some support here, you can grab a block underneath that right thigh or a blanket here. The arms can do anything that feels natural for them. Maybe that's resting on the belly. Maybe just like you would for a standing tree, we lift the arms up overhead. And you can either let that left leg relax, that's perfectly fine. You can be as passive as you want in this position, or you can work into the strength and foundation of that left leg. So pushing the sole of the left foot out and away from the hip as you press the left thigh down, and maybe even actively feeling that right thigh drop out to the right here. So make it as powerful or as relaxing as you would like. Take a nice deep exhale. As you inhale, right knee lifts. Let's lift up the sole of the right foot. As you exhale, control the movement as you release that right leg all the way down. We'll do the same thing on the other side, just hugging the left knee in, interlacing the fingers around the base of that left knee, that left thigh dropping to the outer edge as we pull the left knee into that left shoulder, holding here just two to three belly breaths. So inhaling, swelling the belly, exhaling, dropping the belly button down. Inhaling, swelling the belly. Exhaling, dropping the belly button down. Now, left hand finds the top of the left knee, right hand finds the right hip to help remind it to stay nice and grounded. Just feel that left thigh spiral inside the hip sockets. We're sweeping that left thigh around in circles. 
you may notice some interesting things going on in the left hip. Just notice the things you notice. If at uh, any point this feels painful, you can always just make smaller circles. They don't have to be super duper big. So find what you need. Maybe take it the opposite direction, noticing if that feels a little bit different here. We'll take this and turn it into a twist as we bring the left knee up, right hand crosses left thigh, left knee drops up and over to the right, reaching your left hand away from your left shoulder, maybe looking over to that left hand, opening up that left side body. So we get into a twist and oftentimes what happens is that twisting side kind of starts to crunch its way in. Press the left sit bone all the way down towards that right foot if you can, as we feel that left side rib cage draw up and away from the hip as well. On an inhale, rotate back to neutral, we'll take a supine tree pose. So drop the sole of the left foot down, left thigh drops out to the side as we open up the sole of the foot now to that right inner thigh. Hands can maybe rest by the side on the belly or again up overhead. If you wanna keep the legs relaxed and passive, by all means, totally just rest into this. If you wanna add a little more energy here and just notice how that feels even for just a moment, press out through the sole of the right foot just like you would if you were standing up. Feel the engagement along that left outer thigh, pressing that left thigh gently down into the mat. Two more deep breaths. One more inhale. One more deep exhale. And then bringing that left knee up, we're gonna send the sole of the left foot straight up to the ceiling, straightening the leg. As you exhale, control the movement, slowly releasing that left leg down. We're gonna relax the feet just away from one another. Let the hands release down by the hips, palms of the hands facing open to the ceiling and just taking a moment and noticing how you feel after that bit of movement. You might notice some residual energy in the hips or in the thighs. You may even notice some energy through the spine, low back, or upper body. What's our emotional state as we rest here? And even as you take in these observations, see if we can do so without judgment, without trying to label anything as good or bad, but just simply observing. One more deep breath. Moving into the fingers, moving into the toes. Let's bend the knees. And even as you bend the knees here, notice how the hips moved once you did so. We'll hug the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the legs. You can rock side to side. And feel free to roll to one side here, or you can rock yourself straight up. As we find ourselves in that comfortable seated position again, take a moment, notice your new relationship to gravity. We started with this specific position, now we're ending with this specific position. As you rest your hands on your knees, thighs, or lap, notice if your hips, even after just a few moments of movement, feel slightly different as we sit here. And we'll bring our hands together to heart center, closing with an ohm. Inhale. Thank you for showing up and taking care of yourself today. Go have a beautiful rest of your day.